everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do, I think, I think I'm going to call this like an everyday eye makeup look. Um, I used to never wear eyeshadow and I think I've gotten a lot better because now I wear it like almost every day if I'm going out or if I want my makeup to look good. I don't just wear mascara, I do eyeshadow and I think it's gotten a lot better. So I decided to show you guys my everyday eye makeup and I hope this helps in some way and I hope you guys enjoy and I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so I've already done all my face makeup because I think that's kind of boring and I feel like if I sat here and did it, it would just make the video way longer than it needs to be. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my eyebrows and I use this Milani brow thing. It's kind of like the Anastasia one, um, but it's a lot cheaper. So I'm going to take this with an angled brush and go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. Alright, and as you can see, um, my eyebrows aren't very sparse, so I don't fill them in that much. What I do is I just follow the natural, how they naturally look, and I just fill them in a little bit to give them a little bit more shape. And I, I do it darker on the outside and then lighter on the inside, just because I think that looks the best on me. Um, yeah, and I try to make them look pretty similar, but eyebrows are sisters, not twins. That's what I learned from YouTube. Then I just take the spoolie brush and brush through them to make sure they're not as harsh as they are right now. Now lastly for my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the Gimme Brow. This is good to use just on its own, but I like to use this instead of a uh, clear brow gel because the clear brow gels just look like not very good once they dry. They just kind of make your eyebrows look like dusty, which isn't very cute. So I just use this and I think it works a lot better than using the clear kind. Yahoo! Now for my favorite part, I'm going to take the um, Kylie Jenner Holiday Palette and my Morphe M504 brush. So I've already put um, Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lids. So I'm just gonna start off by taking this. Uh, I'm just gonna take this and put this all over my lid just for like a base. I used to be really bad at eyeshadow and I used to never wear it because I was so bad at it, but I've gotten a lot better. And I think it's because of these tricks. If you put, um, a color down first like you can see it's not really showing up and not really doing much you're probably like why are you doing that if you put down a base color it just makes everything look better and just makes your eyeshadow look a lot better so this is one of the tricks I've learned now that I'm done with that um, I'm just going to go in with this other color from the palette and this is in chestnut I think yeah chestnut and another trick that I've learned to make your, make your eyeshadow look a lot better is to add a transition color and this is something where I would watch makeup tutorials and think that's dumb like you don't that doesn't even like end up showing up in the end product but it just makes everything blend a lot better and I'm still not the best at eyeshadow but I've gotten a lot better and it also helps with your brushes I just got these morphe brushes in the mail and I can already tell they're making my makeup look a lot better so it's really important with the brushes you use and these really aren't even expensive this was like five dollars so you don't need expensive brushes you just need ones that work well so I would suggest going on YouTube and looking up videos on the best makeup brushes to buy Okay, now that I'm done with the transition shade, um, I'm going in with my Naked palette and I'm going to take the color Buck. This is going to kind of go in the same area, but um, I'm using a different brush. I'm using the Morphe M330 brush, and this is just going to pack it on more and make it more defined than just blending it everywhere, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to start off by putting this in the inner corner and then blend that in my crease kind of pretty much where I just put the transition color so I'm just putting it putting this over it and this is just gonna I don't know it's gonna make everything look good I think I hope now I'm taking the same blending brush I was using before the Morphe M504 brush and then um, I'm taking this like peach color and not peach what am I saying it's like cream color and just putting this underneath my eyebrow for like a highlight and also just to help Blend the eyeshadows some more, because you want to blend your eyeshadows. That's that's very important, is another thing I've learned <laughs> with doing eyeshadow. It's very important to blend. Okay, now that I'm all done blending out my crease and everything, I'm going to go back with my Naked palette, and then this Morphe M43... <laughs> I don't know why I can't say these. The Morphe M433 brush. Uh, it just looks like this. And I'm going in with the color Sin right here. And it's my probably my favorite eyeshadow ever. It's just a pretty rose gold, and I'm gonna put this kind of in, like all over my eyelid, really, but like mostly in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of pack that on, and I think this really completes everything and makes everything look prettier. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush I've been using the whole time and just 
blend the edges of that again because it's very important to blend so yeah I'm just cleaning up a little bit there's nothing on my brush I'm just cleaning up the sparkly glittery eyeshadow I just put on okay now that everything is blended to my liking I'm going to go back in with the naked palette and going back in with Buck the thing that I used the thing <laughs> the eyeshadow that I used in my crease and I'm gonna take this on a little small like smudger brush and put this on underneath my eyes and this is another tip that I learned while doing while learning to do eyeshadow this is really important because it helps balance everything out and it also opens your eyes a lot more and I go about half a little over halfway I don't go all the way to my inner corner but this like helps complete the whole look if like if your eyeshadow isn't looking that good and you're like and I don't really like it like put on uh, eyeshadow underneath your eyes and it completes everything and balances it out and makes it look really good and then if I feel like it needs something else I'll go back in with my transition color and I'm going back in with that from the Kylie palette and then I'm just gonna put that over it just to make sure everything looks like it goes together all right so that's it for my eyeshadow and this is oh wait no I forgot this brush from Sonia Kashuk and then I take the color virgin from the naked palette and put that in my inner corner okay now you're done with your eyeshadow and sometimes I used to always put on a winged liner but lately I just haven't because I've been more into doing eyeshadow than just my winged eyeliner and I feel like whenever I put winged eyeliner over it it just kind of like takes over and kind of just cancels everything out that I just did. So I'm gonna skip that step and just curl my eyelashes with an eyelash curler. Then I'm gonna go in with the mascara that I talked about so much in my favorites video and just put that all over my top and bottom lashes. Oh, and I forgot to say, this is the Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline. And there you go, that's it from my everyday eye makeup look. I still don't know what I'm gonna be calling this video. But yeah, if you guys want to see um, like everyday foundation routine, I don't really wear foundation every day, but if you want to see that video, I can do that for you too. Um, I hope this helped and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm still not the best at eyeshadow, but I've gotten a lot better and I think that maybe this helped. So I'm going to link um, actually the all the Morphe brushes I used down below because I just actually got them yesterday and I feel like they helped a lot. Uh, so if you're just starting off with eyeshadow or you want to get better, I'm going to link those down below because they helped a lot and I think they're the really good, like, basic eyeshadow brushes. And they're really cheap too. That's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!